Hey Geonos, tonight we're going to talk about Camp Strathpine. And yeah, this was huge. I lived out there for quite some time, many years actually, and I didn't know how significant this was. So Camp Strathpine was built between 1942 and 1943, but it was occupied up until the 1950s. 15,000 American servicemen and a crapload of Australian servicemen uh, occupied this site and it was huge it went from way up at Petrie right down to what is now Brendale and uh, you can see these are the, the sort of huts that were in the bush uh, officers quarters and uh, that's actually the general's quarters there and uh, this was a very important base um, here's uh, General MacArthur coming to visit this base the Big Mac himself and uh, yeah, there was 15,000 young American farm boys there. And uh, we owe our lives to these guys. His big Mac saying, yeah, make sure you point the, it goes that way toward the enemy. The pointy end goes towards the enemy. Guys, right, carry on. And all that. Anyway, what I've done is I've taken a uh, modern map of Strathpine here from 2022-ish. From Apple Maps, I think this one was. And uh, I've dug uh, an old camp map it's reasonably accurate and what i'll do is i'll fade this up now you can pause the video at a point where you want to but the registration is pretty good on this road for road creek for creek so we'll just go through now and you've seen me do this before in those time travel videos but this was huge as you can see it's a massive map there were six areas with different um, squadrons and different uh, divisions in each area. The Australians moved in once the Americans moved out and we occupied it. It had three airfields. I'll show you a map in a little while which there were, which shows two of them anyway. So that is the extent of it. It's absolutely massive. It covers all of modern Strathpine pretty much. Pretty much. So yeah, 15,000 men who all had to be fed, they had to sleep somewhere, they had to go to the toilet, I don't even think about it. They had to drink water and drink other things obviously and go into town and have fun and all the other things that servicemen do. So we'll fade this back again just so you can have a look at uh, where it fits into the modern landscape. And the correct answer is, it's all of it, pretty much. Right out to the top of Joiner. Um, the original headquarters was located right up the top uh pretty much unfortunately the pine rivers dam has messed a bit of it up so right up there at the top of the pine rivers dam and uh it's uh there's nothing there i've been up there to look for it there's nothing there so here's the old camp we're going to zoom in here in a sec so as you can see pretty much everywhere from brendale through to Kashmir, joiner bray park even Petrie, Launton, this is all a military camp. Right up to the, the North Pine Dam, they actually used the North Pine Dam as a jungle training assault, the North Pine River, sorry. The North Pine Dam wasn't there, as a jungle training assault course. Crossing rivers, and pontoons, etc. So yeah, this is a big thing, a really big thing. And uh, this is the airfield map. So as you can see, you have the two airfields there, A2, which is now Spitfire Avenue, and A1, I can remember when I was a kid living there, there was still concrete down there. We didn't know what it was. Now we know what it was. It was the old airfield. So A1, these were wartime airfields. Uh, Spitfires did take off because I got some photos of it there, but I think they were doing uh, training flights mainly with uh, uh, older training aircraft so you can see where it is there but the bottom of that by the way is uh, Buckby Road that's still there and the uh, you'll see some of the photos here in a minute and uh, some of those landmarks are still there and I'll show you that as well used to be a good shop on the corner there when I was a kid anyway there it is that's what is now Spitfire Avenue which was runway A1 some blokes camped on the side of it there so I'd say they'd stop using it as a runway and here it is flying past an oblique view looking across to you can see in the background it's Bell's Pocket Road and Buckby Road coming across towards uh, Strathpine and you can see Gimpy Road in the foreground there. The school wasn't built yet. Here is an oblique shot of it. If you'd really stuffed your approach up this is what it would have looked like. Um, so there you go and here's a shot of it uh, pretty much uh, with a couple of uh, Spitfires coming off coming towards us. 
Oh, that's looking north towards Petrie. It's like it's been raining, but anyway, that happens. Uh, and yeah, this air, I knew this was an airfield when I lived out there. That's all aircraft names. Uh, here it is from the sky. You can see it's obvious um, where it is. And if the flyby you saw when you came in, this is an aircraft hangar. Used to be on 221 Gimpy Road from World War II. But guess what happened? It's um, now not an aircraft hangar. Apparently got moved to Old Petrie Town as part of the deal, but mm, I can't see it out there. Anyway, if you know, leave me something in the comments. So what can we see still out there? Well, not much really, but uh, I've got some photos coming up of some of the gear. This is the boys out uh, parading. Uh, this will be up in uh, Joiner, right up near the dam. The uh, American guys out parading. Some guys working on a very old, 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 old fashioned concrete mixer. This next photo I've put in, it's got nothing to do with Strathpine, but it's such a good photo. This is actually in Charlotte Street in Brisbane, but my God, you know, this is what happens. Uh, how much is this? Uh, yeah, this is a special uh, drop air version for $100, yeah, or £200. But this is the photo. This was taken in Charlotte Street, and look at these guys in colour. They look so good, considering they're probably all dead now. These guys came here to save our lives. They didn't know who we were. Most of them didn't know where Australia was, so, hmm. Got to have some respect for that. This is still visible. This is taken in the 1960s. This was the old bread ovens that they used to, uh, obviously 15,000 blokes, you've got to feed them. And uh, even in the 1990s, these were still there. And I believe they're being uh, looked after and restored now. So, which is pretty cool, really. Well, Geo Nodes, what we've got here is a 1949 map of the Strathpine area. I've stuck a couple of them together to give you this nice big map. And you can certainly see the runway there, A2. And in the top right of the screen, you can see the ghost of the A1 runway. It's just grass, obviously. Um, yeah, Strathpine hasn't got a whole lot in it, but didn't have a whole lot in it when I was there. Lawton Pocket Road goes through there, Francis Road. And we're heading across here to where the headquarters was at what is now Joiner, and there's not much at all. You know, this is 1949, this is not all that long after these were there. You can see scars there where they obviously had things. And uh, this is the uh, uh, Spitfire Avenue Airfield, A2. I just want to draw your attention. This is the corner of Buckby Road and Kippy Road. Well known to everyone at Strathpine, because if you went to school there, the shop was on the corner. But that is a tree and the remains of the old original North Pine staging house from the 1860s. And that tree is still there today. Unfortunately, in 2021, it got hit by a storm and that's what happened to it. But that big tree is still the one. It's well over 100 years old. So there you go, Geo Nerds, Camp Strathpine. I grew up out there. I also grew up in North Queensland. And I got all the World War II talk and how evil the Japanese were and how wonderful the Americans were and all that stuff. And uh, none of it's completely true and none of it's completely false. But let me tell you, young American farm boys, Iowa farm boys, who'd probably never even seen the sea in their lives, came out here and fought and died for us. And we shouldn't forget that. I'm not saying we should run around uh, you know, polishing the Americans' boots and doing everything they say, but as dead is a debt, and this country would not be here today, I guarantee it, if those boys hadn't come and laid down their lives for us. Anyway, that's a bit negative for a T-Rocks video, isn't it? There's no rocks in it. But anyway, next time we'll get there, keep rocking. T-Rocks out.